what everyone seems to think is our first night out in a year. I know. Why does everyone think we don't go out? I mean, basically, you're saying we're boring. Yeah, but Mitten is a prize, a bell end sometimes. True, but he's hard to hate. He's so hard to hate. Do you know what I like about him? Is the fact that he actually admits he did say some yeah. of the wrong things. But also, with him, and I know just... what he thinks. In his head, it's harmless. It's because there's no bullshit, that's why. Literally. There's no gossip. You know I'll always obviously have a back though. You know I would as well. Yeah. Basically, no one fucked us. So so true. Do you like run venues and stuff? Yeah, a couple of venues. Yeah. Get DJs in. Do you want to play, honestly? Yeah, yeah, well, I'll, I'll jump on. You'll jump on? Jump on yeah. Sweet. Sure. Sounds good. I recognise some of your friends, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so they're, they're on the verge of being boring, so I'm trying my best yeah. to just make sure they go out. Yeah, I heard a bit about Digby, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, my ex, she uh, met Digby, wow. and he found her on Instagram and just started DMing her. Well, this is recently? Uh, yeah, maybe less than a month ago. She said that he wanted to grab coffee with her, see her a little bit. And oh, so he was actually yeah. asking to meet up? Yeah. I mean, a DM is a DM. It's not like he's actually done something No, no, it, it could bad, be innocent, yeah. But if you're looking elsewhere, then it's kind of not a good sign. And she's like a good friend of mine, so I kind of need to gauge what's going on. Yeah, of course. It's a tricky one to be honest, because I don't want to put you in the awkward situation where you've got to kind of say the news, because I don't know them. It's I don't nice, know. So it's, not, it's not your fault, right? You're just relaying information that you've been told. Ah, uh, What's he doing? He's such an idiot. So this was a month ago, right? Yeah. Honestly, it could be something very casual, but the way she spoke to me about it, I don't think it is. Uh, there's something we need to talk to you about, or something I need to talk to you about. Yeah. Um, Zoom boys. Do you know whose party it is tonight, basically? The guy who organised it. There's yeah. some, some dude called Miles. Uh, he basically yeah. is saying some stuff that about you potentially messaging his ex or something. Dude, listen, I mean, hey, we're not saying you did it. Or did it I did, we just want to find out yeah. if you have been doing it. No, 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 no. literally not you sure. sure? 100%. 100% swear so my life. You never messed anyone? Honestly, I have no idea. Should we show you who the person is? Just yeah. so, okay, where is he? Yeah. Just this, this, this guy. guy. Obviously, James has done his research. I've never seen her in my life. 100%. Never seen her in my life. It's just fucking, it's this guy has said it. I'd love to see, I'd love to see these messages, if anything. Are you Miles? Yeah, Miles. Mate, Alex and Jamie have just come up to me and said that apparently I've been texting your ex-girlfriend, which is complete bollocks. It was literally a passing comment. You know, she's, she Mate, told me about the situation. passing comments get uh, blown out of proportion. Well, you portrayed me as someone who I'm not, and that's being unfaithful. I'm not unfaithful to my girlfriend. OK, first of all, I wasn't spreading any rumours. Um, it was passing comments. you are. No, I'm not. Mate, you... I've got evidence that I your fucking girlfriend was the one who DM'd me. Okay. Jamie just got it up on my phone now. OK, well, then, if, if you're happy and if Liv is happy that you guys you trust each other, then there's no problem. Then th they Mate, there isn't a problem now, but all I'm saying is, is Liv had doubt. Mate, you getting this angry kind of proves that there might be some truth to this. You have no evidence, you don't have a leg to stand on, so leave my relationship alone.